that too, but he's being aloof. No, he doesn't want to be interviewed. Hi, this is, I'm going to play uh, Parallel World by Glenn Tilbrook. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you know what, you obviously have had a set, so you know what he's singing tonight at the show. There's going to be a lot of new music. Glenn's working on an album okay. called Happy Endings, right. which uh, was kind of due to be released this year. It's, uh, he's just perfecting it at the moment. Oh yeah? Um, and we're going to be performing some of the songs from that tonight. A few classics, and you never know, you know what Glenn's like, he might pull something out of the bag. Is he going to sing any squeeze like um, like um, mumbo um, mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo word to say? Are you coming yeah. out? Coming out to play? I, <laughs> I try to imitate him. Yeah. I know how that's working. Uh, don't uh, stick to journalism. Okay, I will. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a singer. I know. I'm not a singer. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll be we'll be doing lots of interesting things tonight, and also the lineup is three people, and we're trying to approach it sonically from a different place. Oh, it's not a rock and roll band tonight; it's something different. That's fantastic. Okay, so um, can you tell me anything about you other than you know before you started with um, Squeeze and the Fluffers? Where who are you? Uh, well, I've been a drummer all my life. I've been very lucky. I was in a band, an English band called Death in Vegas, which is a very different type of music. Squeeze. Okay. Um, and uh, when I got a chance to work with them, um, I've never looked back. Yeah, that's great. Um, and I'm still, uh, I'm still... Were you in the original band, please? No. No, okay. No, that, that was a drummer called Gilson Loves, who I follow, and he's wonderful. Okay, because I, you were there from the 80s, though, I think. No, 90s. No, 90s? 90s? Okay. Um, well, with Glenn, sort of 90s, and then Squeeze kind of reformed about like, 10 years ago, and that's when... They started, I thought they started performing like 78, 79. I mean, they started singing in England back then. Yes. And then I think they became really famous in the late 80s. Yes. You know, when, you know and I remember just, lo I love all of it. And the, I think, is the Cool for Cats the first album with um, Chris singing Cool for Cats? Yes. Yeah. And then it was East Side Story, RG Bargy. Uh, under pressure of um, interview, I'm not very good at chronology. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> no problem. But I mean, I, ha I have them all. They're you know, great. You know, yeah. so, so this new one, where is it? You can buy it Squeeze on Squeeze's site? or um, No, it's not, it's not quite finished. Uh, although we record every show every night. You can buy the show you've just watched. Really? We have a guy called Chris Modell who uh, is a genius. And he, will, he makes a mix of the show. Really? Watching. And it's ready at the end of the show. Fantastic. And they burn CDs or put them on the door. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. So you well, can hear the songs like that in their raw, live form. Really? That's yeah. very cool. It's very cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, just you. Okay, so tell me your name again. My name's Simon Hansen. I yes. am the drummer with Glenn Tilbrook. Yes. I'm the drummer with Squeeze. Fantastic. And, uh, if Glenn Tilbrook's around, I usually just follow him around playing the drums. Now, you, do you follow uh, Chris Difford as well? Um, I do. I don't follow Chris Difford in the same fruition, fruition, ferocity, ferocity. Okay. Um, I, when Squeeze are playing, Chris is around, mm -hmm. but um, I mainly uh, play with them. That's fantastic. He's my hero, but I don't want him to know that. Okay, well, he probably will find out now. Oh. <laughs> He's my hero, too. Good. Yeah. Squeeze is my favorite band of what, all time. What an amazing band. It is. I mean, yes. what is your favorite... Do you have like? I mean, I love all the music, but what, of all the squeeze songs, which one do you enjoy playing the most? To play as a drummer, yes, is that love? Okay, um, is uh, fantastic. Now the guy who was originally the drummer, Gilson Larvis, who, who is also a hero of mine, uh -huh. he plays the most amazing part, drum part in that, and it's just real fun to play. It's That's quite fantastic. A song, yeah, so. yeah, I love is that love. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Do you like um, um, Cool for Cats? Cool, it's, that is one of those songs that you know I knew all my life. Yes. And um, I love hearing it. I love playing that as well. Right. And it's it's, yeah, it's great fun. Yeah. 
I mean, you're most known for Black Coffee in Bed, I would think, and Tempted by the Fruit of Another. I think those two tracks, uh, are, 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 that's an American thing, because uh, I would say in England, mm -hmm. it's slightly different, people remember you for different tracks. Yes. For instance, Up the Junction is a classic in uh, the heart of English people. Yes. And I think here, I think people love it here too, but it's not quite well known. Right. Well, I think it's beautiful. I love all your music. I've Thank been you. a fan since the beginning. Okay. I discovered you on a teen tour. I was in London. <laughs> a teen I was, tour? I was on a teen tour in London in the late 70s. Teen, teen tour? Teen, teen. I was a teenager uh -huh. on a teen tour in the early 80s. Yes. And someone was playing your music, and I was like, what is that sound? I love it. Oh, wow. And I became a fan ever since. Oh, wow. And I've listened to all, I've owned all your albums. They're all phenomenal. Oh, wow. um, you know, East Side Story, Argy Amazing. Bargy. Amazing. You know, I love all your music. And more recently, I went to see the Fluffers. It was down here a couple years ago. You had a performance that yeah, I went Fluffers to. Fluffers is a, a wonderful uh, excursion for Glenn. Yes. And it allows um, a, a band to play screen songs, but in a Sort of a slightly different style, and mm -hmm. it's really good fun. It is amazing, and they, their album Pandemonium Shoes is just, I believe, oh. a, a, a classic. When of, did that come out? It came out about a year ago. Oh, really? Yeah, it should be check, check it out. It's called Pandemonium Shoes. It's, it's a classic. <laughs>